you need to go from being code centric to customer centric, which is that you need to understand uh, the use cases, the addressable market. Um, you have to put yourself in customer's shoes. First, transition into a product management role from being an engineer. Uh, the basic difference, the basic difference in thinking that needs to happen is that from worrying about what I call internals of the product, you need to worry about the surface area of the product. Mm -hmm. What does it look like to a consumer or a consumer of the product, whether it's a developer or an end user? And um, uh, you have to have a sense for anything that you change, how does it impact the surface area? Mm -hmm whether that is a, 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 a user interface designer or an administrator or a business user, business analyst or any of these uh, different personas that, the, that your product range may deal with. What you need to get a sense of, so if there's a customer picture, there is a competitor's picture. That's the next thing you need to think of is that what is the competition doing? And the third aspect to this is really about how do, you, how do we change the game? What is our secret sauce in the mix? So you can look at uh, ideas from customers, you can look at ideas from competitors. They will not, they will give you incrementally better uh, ideas. They are not the big aha moments. Mm -hmm. That has to come from your team. That has to come from, um, you know, from being, watching the space for a while, watching the major trends, uh, in the industry and uh, you know an engineer becoming a product manager really needs to think about you know what will sell what you know what is our relevance to the customer what is the novelty of the product right how is the product um, how is the product novel um, what, what do they remember once you, once you leave the place? What does the customer remember once your visit is over? And the third aspect is really keep your promises. The main requ requirement is getting exposure to the uh, customer feedback. Mm -hmm. And that can be via support issues, it could be via professional services uh, people, it could be direct. That is you know, the engineering leaders visit some customers along with the account team and uh, get that exposure. It's very important.